I feel like I'm excited for every video, but this video is a little bit different. A year ago, this month, I did a video that was super expensive, super fun, super time consuming, and I'm gonna do it again. But about a year ago, I did this video called Seven Bookstores in Seven Days. This was actually my third or fourth YouTube video that I ever did. It's actually the video that kind of inspired me to start a booktube. I was like, you know, that's a really good idea. I would love to look around my city, go to a few bookstores, buy some books, and see what bookstore I like best. And as you guys know, I recently moved from Virginia to Colorado, and I was like, this is perfect timing. It's a year later, and I'm in a new city. So that's exactly what this video is gonna be. I'm gonna go to seven bookstores in seven days, but I am in a new city. So these are bookstores that I've never been to, I've never vlogged in. I have been really patient because I wanted to go to more bookstores so bad, but I wanted to save it for this video. So it's going to be my first time going to these bookstores and you guys can come along. I'm not going to say what the first bookstores I'm going to is because it's a classic and it's one that I just have to visit because I haven't been to the one here in Colorado. Let's go. Okay, my first stop is... Barnes & Noble. So we have it in Virginia. I want to see what the Colorado one is like. This one looks a lot different. It's still the same vibe, but it's just, it's going to be weird going in here. I do just want to state I have no plan going in. Literally no plan at all. I just plan to go in, browse, maybe buy a book or two, but I'm not putting like a strict limit on this video. I don't want to go overboard, but I'm not going to say like, oh, I have to get a book. If I don't find anything, then I'm not going to get anything. Let's go inside. Okay, so Barnes & Noble was interesting. I It was successful, let's just say that. I did get two books. I won't show you the covers right now, but I did get two books at a really decent price. If you wanna see the books, they're at the last timestamp where I do a little book haul. But let's talk about the good things first. That store had the best selection of books I've seen in a really long time, especially at a Barnes & Noble, because the Barnes & Noble near us is great. And I'm talking Virginia. In Virginia, the Barnes & Nobles were wonderful. There were three in Virginia that I absolutely loved. This one though, the book options were so broad and new. I hadn't seen a lot of those young adult fantasy books before, so I did look at some of those. The selection there, wonderful. It was a very nice Barnes & Noble really liked it. The only problem, and <laughs> it's kind of like embarrassing, and like, I don't know why I'm embarrassed, but there was a guy who, who was following me and this one other girl around, and he came up to me three times saying the same thing each time. He kept saying, you're the girl, you're just the girl I've been looking for, or something along those lines, like, you're the one I've been looking for, and it was very creepy. Um, it made me really uncomfortable. It, it like I don't want to just like say that he was creepy to say that he was creepy. He genuinely was like in my personal bubble. He would come up very close to me and it made me it made me uncomfortable. Okay? So I feel I feel like bad saying that he was creepy, but it kind of it was kind of creepy. And then this is what like scared me and I'm going <laughs> to the next time I go to that Barnes & Noble, I'll make Brock go with me. I had to get escorted out because at the checkout line, he he came up while I was checking out and said, oh, I'm gonna check out with her. I've ne I never stand up for myself either, but I was genuinely scared at this point. Um, and I said, I don't know him. I was very, very nervous in that Barnes & Noble. The first like 15 minutes went great. I found the two books that I wanted and then it just got like a little uncomfortable from there. I'm still happy with what I got and I will show you guys those later. And I do plan to go to the bookstore tomorrow and it's a new one. I've never been to the one that we're going to tomorrow so I'm really excited. But we can check Barnes & Noble off the list. Okay you guys, good and bad news. It's the next day. 
Oh, that was big lighting. It's storming right now. I am a 23 year old woman with her wisdom teeth growing. <laughs> It just hurts. <laughs> it's like a tooth growing. Like I feel like I need to chew on something or like gnaw on something, but I haven't really done much. I went to the gym after I took some ibuprofen and feel really good. But once that ibuprofen wears off, I'm like done for. So I'm going into a likely story. That's what this shop is called. The store that I'm actually parked in front of is called the living room. And I think that I want to go in there one day because it just looks full of plants. We can go inside and see if I find any books. It's a big storm brewing right there. I do not know what's going on today. It's pouring rain right now. Enjoy the ambiance. This isn't even as bad as it was. So I have a little story. I did end up getting a book. That bookstore was very cute. It was, it was limited. There was like one shelf of fantasy and on that same shelf there was mystery and on that shelf next to it it was fiction and classics. So there really was a limited option. There were a lot of children's books. I did really like it there though. I took like an hour to find a book. Like I was in there for a while, it felt like. I went up to go pay for it. I put my credit card on top of my phone. Then I put both of those things on top of the book because they didn't have bags. I took the book, the phone, and my credit card and put it under my shirt because it was raining and I had to go to the car. <laughs> and I got in the car and my credit card isn't in here. Like I genuinely don't know where my credit card went. It's been a day, it's been a day. But the book that I got, I won't show you guys yet. I'll give you guys a peek. That's all you get. <laughs> it is now an HBO original series, which I did not know. Day two, <laughs> over. Okay, I have arrived at Hooked on Books. It literally just says books on the front though, so. That's good, hooked on books. So these are used and new, which I am excited to go look. Oh my god, okay, so first of all, that bookstore smells like an old closet. Like, it smells so good. It just smells like old books. It's amazing. It definitely didn't have, like, a big, uh, like, section on the book that I generally like, but their horror slash mystery thriller section was perfect. Like, it was huge. It was, like, three shelves long, and I did end up getting two books, and I'm really happy with the books that I got. I've already read one of them, but I wanted a copy, a physical copy of it. And then the other one I wanted to read and they had it and I was, thank God, because my thriller section is pretty small in on my like bookshelves, but I wanted more. It was great. It definitely gave me like an actual school library. <laughs> That's what it kind of felt like. I loved it. It smelled so dang good. <laughs> it is Friday and Brock is coming with me to the bookstore. I'm pretty sure it's called Tattered Cover. It's in Colorado Springs. It's brand new and I'm pretty sure they only have new books. So it's not like a used bookstore like yesterday, but so it's new books and they have a bar. I'm pretty sure it's a coffee bar. Like I don't think maybe they do alcohol like after hours or later, but I don't know. So
Brock went to go drop something off at the UPS store really quick. He just ran inside. I just wanted to come on really quick and say that that was successful. I did end up getting two books. I was going to get three because the, but the third, see, this is a bad habit of mine. I looked it up on Amazon and it was like $6 cheaper on Amazon. So I didn't end up getting that book, but I did get two other books. So that's good. And they are books that I've been wanting to read and I'm very happy about it. Happy Saturday. Well, I guess it's Saturday for me, not for you guys, but I am today going to Book Archive, and this one is actually the closest bookstore to me. It's about six to seven minutes away. All of the other ones have been like 20 to 25 minutes away. I'm letting my hair dry before I go, but I was doing some research. I'm on the Book Archive website right now, and I found something pretty interesting, and I wonder what it means. So it said they do like buy books from people. So if I wanted to sell books to them, I could. And they're currently not accepting cookbooks and romance books. I wonder if that means they have too many romance books or they aren't taking them because it's like not a romantic store. So I'm wondering if, if they have too many, I will definitely look for some romance books here. I've done a really good job with this video. You guys will see at the end. I've done a really good job with spreading my horizon. What does that say? <laughs> I've done a good job with branching out in genre. I've, I've stayed in fiction. I don't read nonfiction, but I've stayed in fiction. I've only gotten like one romance book. This is day five. So we only have two more bookstores to go to left. And I'm really excited for those. They are a little bit further away, like I said, but this one I'm happy is close by and fingers crossed that I really like it because I don't want to drive all the way like downtown to go get books every time. All right, I have arrived and I don't know why I wear long sleeves today. It is so hot, but at least I'm wearing shorts. It's a little of an awkward combo, but my outfits haven't been particularly creative recently. So I'm literally the only car in the parking lot besides some other van. So I'm probably gonna be the only one in there. I don't know how much I'm gonna film, but let's go. was not expecting that. There was little to no romance, so I'm guessing they just don't accept romance. There was a lot of um, religious books in there, so I'm guessing maybe they don't accept romance books or stuff like that for religious reasons. Totally okay. And there was a Western romance section with like Outlander and some Nicholas Sparks, but that was about it. Okay, I gotta take this off. Pardon my bra strap, okay? Public schools would be furious right now. I did end up getting four books because they, since it is a used bookstore, they were very cheap. Two of them I've read and I just wanted copies of my own and two of them I have not read. And it's funny, both of the books that I have not read, I bought books from these two authors in the previous bookstores. So. You'll understand at the end of the video. It's just, um, it was funny and very like coincidental that that happened. I'm very happy with my choices. I'll give a little hint right now of one of the books if you want. That's your hint. All of these are really used. This book was $2. Only two more bookstores after this. I just had my first shift at work and I made Brock come and pick me up. We only have one car right now. So he picked me up and we're going to, this is called West Side Stories, I believe. Again, no expectations. The front of it is really cute and I think I want to come back here one day just to take some pictures in front of it. I won't take pictures in this, but um, let's go in. Again, no expectations. We're just going to go see if I can find any books to spend money on. <laughs>
Oh my god, my hair is such a mess. I'm so sorry. Brock and I are about to go do just a really, really short little hike. And from there, we're going to go straight to a bookstore. So I will film at the bookstore. It's the last one. We got one more bookstore. Woo! Forewarning, I'm gonna ignore the construction work that's going on in my neighborhood right now. So all of the nail hammer, all of the noises that you hear, I would ask you to ignore them too, because <laughs> I cannot help it. I did do this same kind of video a year ago, and I feel like a lot has changed in my reading journey and my YouTube journey. And if you guys have been here since that video, thank you so much for supporting me. But let's get to the fun stuff, okay? I ended up getting, you can't see the bottom of this, but I ended up getting 15 books. And last year in this video, I think I got 14 books. So I one-upped it, okay? I will go through each receipt at the end because I want you guys to know how much I spent. And last year I spent $92 for 14 books and that ended up being like $6 per book. The first bookstore we know, I went to Barnes & Noble. Just kind of like our control of this experiment right now. Barnes & Noble, I had three locations in Virginia that I went to constantly. This location, I would say, falls in the middle of favoritism. It had really, really good choices of young adult fantasy, choices that I've never seen before. So, And I did get some ideas and put some stuff on my TBR, but I did get two books. So the first two books from Barnes & Noble. This one has been on my TBR for a really long time. I did end up getting a buy one, get one 50% off. So I'll go over this one first, okay? The Kiss of Deception by Mary Pearson and the receipt that I will go over at the end. First of all, I mean, come on, right? The construction's gonna bother me so much, so sorry. I know only a little bit about this book. It's been on my TBR for a while. You guys know I don't read the back of the books. I don't like to know what they're about. I just like kind of diving in and getting an idea when I'm reading it, but I did save this book on Libby and I'm gonna take off the sticker cause it bothers me. I did save the book on or hold the book on Libby so I can listen to it because I've been driving a lot recently. So driving and listening to books has been really helpful. I also, this one kind of intrigued me only by the cover. It kind of has that cartoonish cover. Hold on, another sticker. It is called Maggie Moves On and the Goodreads reviews on it were really, really good. Um, look at just this cover. It's so cute and cartoony. I just like the look of this. It is about a girl named Maggie, obviously, and she is some YouTube, she's a YouTube creator who house flips and ends up meeting this landscaper dude. And I don't think she's looking for a relationship in this book, but obviously the landscaper dude is there all the time. I'm pretty sure they fall in love. That's how most romance books goes, right? So I did get both of these. 1945, okay? And we'll total it at the end, all right? The next day, I went to a likely story. This building was very, very cute, right? I really liked the vibe, but I will say it was a very young store. It was raining like crazy. This is the day that I lost my credit card. I couldn't talk very much to the camera. Like the rain was, it was pouring. So it wasn't my best day, okay? But I it did end up getting one book. And it's a book because I've read from this author before. Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Is it Bachman or Bachman? I'm gonna have to look that up. But I did not know this was a TV show either on HBO. So I'm gonna have to read this and then watch the TV show. I, I just know I'm gonna like this because I've heard good things about it and I did love a man called Ove. I don't have the receipt for this one. Probably lost it with my dang credit card that day. That's probably what happened. Where is the receipt? Anyway, this, this was $17 because I mean, it wasn't on sale or anything. The next store was Hooked on Books. This is strictly, well, I don't want to say strictly used books because they do have like a section with newer books. But this bookstore, you walk in, you smell the old pages. Like it is such a good bookstore. This is probably my favorite or second favorite store that I went to. And I really, really liked the owner. He was there. I did get two books, okay? And something is so weird 
right now because I've been loving and wanting more mystery thriller books or psychological thrillers or in general, like I don't know what it is. I'm not usually into them, but I got The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn and there's a Dobie tale. You okay? This book was $9.95. I can just smell the old, like you wanna smell it? This is also, I'm pretty sure, isn't this a TV show? This has got to be a movie. I know there's a movie or a TV show about this book, but it's basically about this girl who doesn't leave her house and she like watches out of her window a lot and she notices the neighbors one day. She sees a man kill a woman, I'm pretty sure, through the mirror, or, I mean through the window and like no one believes her or something like that. So interested in it, but why? Like I'm not interested in a mystery thriller usually, but I really want to read this. And then I've already read this one and I thought I'm happy I could buy it used. It was $10 and I'm happy that they had it because I wanted, like I loved this book when I read it. I read it just like May or June, I can't remember. So I did end up spending $21 at hooked on books and I'm very happy with the purchases that I got there. Every little bookstore that I went to, I got a little little bookmark, which is kind of cute. The next store that I went to, look at this bag. I love this bag. Like I'm lit I think I'm just going to keep it just because I like the bag. Like tattered cover and I did really like tattered cover. Now let me tell you guys. It's mostly new books and they did have a little used book section which I did buy from. This store had a little barista bar. Oh, I got two books. I don't remember getting two books there. Okay, well, <laughs> I got Dark Places by Jillian Flynn. And again, another book that I don't know why I got because I usually don't like gravitate towards them, but I, I don't know why, like I'm just in this mood. Like I'm in the mood to read really dark books recently. And I think I just go through little phases, but I did get this one. This was $7.95. And I got this, The Vanishing Half, which has been on my TBR for a really long time. The pages are yellowing. I don't mind. I mean, it's going to be facing this way on my bookshelf anyway. I usually take pretty good care of my books, so I think that it won't get any more yellow. I hope not through the sun, but $8.95. For a hardcover, I was impressed. I don't really like hardcover, but because it's been on my TBR forever, I was like, just get it. Just get it. And like, it's, it's kind of like discounted, so... Got these two, can't wait to put them on my bookshelf. That total was $18.59 and I did get a cute bookmark. And then the next store, let me look where I went because I don't remember. I went to Book Archive. Now this one is the closest one to my house, which I was grateful for. This is the one I had the most to say, like bookstore wise. When you walk in, it's, it's nice. It's a really nice bookstore. It's locally owned. The owner was there. I think him and his wife own it. The books there were so old. Like I'm talking the oldest books that I've ever seen because <laughs> there was a section. I don't think it was titled this, but when you looked at each book, I'm pretty sure I even got some B-roll of looking at it. There were books from the 20s to like the 50s of women, like life for women in the 20s to 50s. like. It was like how to clean your home and how to cook for your husband and kids. And it was insane. Like it was really old, old books. Like borderline not appropriate to sell anymore. The fantasy section was full of mass market paperbacks that were torn or that were yellowing. And there was so much character in this store that I really, really did like it. I didn't really like any of the fiction or fantasy or mystery like I didn't gravitate towards any of the books there because they were a little too old for my preference like some people are gonna come after me I know I would probably like a lot of those books but I didn't this wasn't the point of this video I my my goal was not to find the oldest book to show you guys but I did end up getting four books <laughs> okay so speaking of that let's go over the four books that I bought so I did end up getting the Secret Garden. Now this was $2 and it was one of my favorite childhood books slash movies growing up and I just wanted it and I have a young adult shelf so this is definitely going on there. I just, it was cute. I wanted it. I haven't seen this cover since elementary school so I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I wanted it. Okay. And then this is also very nostalgic. This was the first, I would say like the first the first book that got me into reading when I was in like middle school. So I had read Twilight, which I really liked, but I did, I'm not gonna lie, like Twilight was 
for my sixth grade mind kind of hard for me to understand and so was this book but I picked it up the host this was one of the first books I remember like oh my gosh this book is amazing like I love this book like I could not put it down and I was so proud of myself for finishing it I think I was in like sixth or seventh grade I can't remember um but it was five dollars and I was like I don't own it and it's it brings back very like nostalgic memories the next book dude you won't believe it for some reason sharp objects literally I'm in I'm in a I guess a Jillian Flynn mood like I don't know why but seven dollars and I was like I can read this whenever I wanted it's really short and Funny enough, here's another repeat author. I got this book for $8. Another Frederick Backman book. And my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. My grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Had to read that one more time. And I kind of love him, so I just wanted to gather more of his books. I love how I said this wasn't my favorite bookstore, but I bought four books. It was a great bookstore. But if I'm ranking all of these, I didn't enjoy my time there as much as I did at the other places. And maybe that's because of the aesthetic or the the feeling that the bookstore gave me. It didn't give me a good feeling, I guess, than the other ones. But I did end up spending $23.63. The next one is West Side Story. This was my favorite bookstore that I went to. And I didn't get as much time in there as I would have liked. I had gone straight from work, as you guys saw. And I was tired and I had Brock with me and I knew he was tired too. So I didn't want to spend too much time there, but I did end up getting two books. Oh my gosh, what a surprise. $20.54 there. And I got Pack Up the Moon. And this book sounds so sad, but also very, very wholesome and sweet. It is about a husband and wife the wife gets diagnosed with cancer and passes away and the husband i'm pretty sure like finds letters scattered or like is given letters from his wife on like how to move on without her and like how to find love and joy again and it sounds terrible like i mean honestly who would want to put themselves through this really really sad book you know sometimes we like torturing ourselves right so i got this book <laughs> the next one is Nora Roberts Dark Witch and the cover explains it. I mean, is that not the cutest, prettiest cover you've ever seen? I don't really like the back. I don't really like I don't know what this is about, but I really wanted to pick up a Nora Roberts book. She pops books out. Like I'm talking the next bookstore that I went to that I'm about to talk about. Nora Roberts had her own dedicated section. I really want to read year one from her. I was like, let's start maybe small. The last bookstore that I went to was Books For You. This bookstore was also very, very old. Like you walked in and they just had books that were like Colorado. They had like a Colorado like out west a bookshelf and it was books from the 70s of talking about certain hikes and it was a very cool book so I did like it it's really far not really far I mean it was like a 35 minute drive and we went right after a hike so we were really tired but I, I didn't have a lot of time if I'm being honest to like scope out this store Brock and I were really hungry I did end up getting two books and I'm kind of disappointed actually that I got these two books if I could go back I probably wouldn't buy them I almost felt like I had to buy something for this video, but I mean, honestly, it's just some books that I can add to my shelf, right? So I did get, I spent $12.98 for two books. Okay, this is the cheapest bookstore for sure. Red Riding Hood, that's it. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about this one. It's literally Red Riding Hood. It's about Valerie's sister, beautiful, kind of sweet. Now she's dead. Henry's a handsome son of a box and tries to console Valerie, but a while heart beats faster for another. Uh, Peter, who offers Valerie another life, far from home, and from so on. So it's... And then I got this book, which I didn't realize was the second in a series, but at least I have the second book. <laughs> so now I have to buy the first and it was just a Penelope Douglas book. And I haven't seen Penelope Douglas on many shelves. So I wanted to read Penelope Douglas and I'm happy that now I have another one of her books. I believe I have, I do have Corrupt from her. So maybe I'll read that first and then dive into another series. Let me do some math and I will come right back, okay? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I spent $133 on all of these books. 15 books for $133. So actually, wait, that's not bad at all. Hold on. $8.90 per book. I'll take it. Okay. That's 
pretty dang good. The last video, again, I bought 14 books and they were like six and a half dollars a piece. So last video, I did save a little bit more money, but I'm not mad about $133. I that was a little bit high, like more than I was expecting, but $133 for 15 books, $8.90 a piece. I will take it. That is it for this video. Since I've done this before, like it brings back so many memories of that was like the first video that ever like blew up on my YouTube channel. So I'm happy that you guys have been here for that. And if you guys want to subscribe, like, and comment, please do. All of my social media is down below. My Goodreads, so you can kind of get the inside scoop on all of the books that I'm reading right now. And that's it. Dobie, do you want to do your, your usual, oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, you're so sweet. He's been so good. He's been so good. I'll talk to you guys later. See you next week.